Hey there guys, Paul here from TheEngineeringMindset.com. In this video, we're going to be doing some fan calculations and we're going to uh, see how to calculate the fan pulley diameter, the motor pulley diameter, the fan revolutions per minute, the motor revolutions per minute, and also what the adjusted air flow rate would be if we were to change these. Now with the fan, if it's already installed, then you should get a sheet that looks something like this, which tells you uh, this is just the design data. So everything you need to know about the fan uh, should be on here. Unfortunately, all too often you're going to come across sheets like this and they have not been completed. There'll be data missing. Uh, for instance, here it doesn't mention anything about the fans and filters, which are going to be in this system. But if there are blanks in there, then we can look today at how to calculate these and fill the blanks in. And if you're designing the ventilation system, then we're going to look at the calculations for how to actually calculate and enter these values. Now we're going to be using a few technical terms today, uh, such as fan, motor, pulleys, RPM, etc. So just to bring you up to speed with that, excuse the pun, uh, we've got the motor here, then we've got the fan over here. Now these two which are connecting, uh, we've got the, the belt pulley here. Um, so this is the pulley wheel. And this is another pulley wheel. So this is the fan pulley wheel. This is the motor pulley wheel. When the motor spins, obviously that's going to transfer that rotation over through the belt and into the pulley of the fan, which will rotate that. And as that fan uh, begins to spin, that's what provides and pushes the air off into the building. So the rate that the motor spins is known as the RPM, the revolutions per minute, and also the rate that this pulley spins is also known as the RPM, or revolutions per minute. So we'll have a look at uh, what size they need to be and how fast they need to spin in order uh, to achieve the right flow rate. And if you were to change them, what the air flow rate change would be, the adjusted value. So the first one we're going to look at is calculating the fan pulley diameter. Now you can see I've split the screen into two here, so we're going to have the metric and imperial uh, calculations on here and we've got a formula up here I've tried to color code everything throughout the uh, the video I, I find it just makes it a lot easier to follow the numbers but the formula we need for do this is the fan pulley diameter is equal to the pulley the motor pulley diameter multiplied by the division of the motor rpm divided by the fan rpm and we've got some data in the calculations here so we can get these figures from the manufacturer. If you haven't already purchased the equipment, then you can look it up online and see what the RPM is going to be um, for these fans and motors. Uh, for the fan, that's going to be the RPM you need to provide X amount of uh, ventilation or air flow rate. And the motor, this is the, the RPM that it's going to rotate at. So uh, for the first one, we've got a 95 millimeter diameter pulley. Um, on the, the motor pulley diameter. So on here, there's 95 millimeters across or 3.74 inches. And we know that the motor is going to be rotating at uh, 2,861 RPM, same for the Imperial. And then uh, the fan, in order to achieve the air flow rate that we need, it's going to be rotating at 3,020 RPM, same for the Imperial. So if we do the division first, then you'll see we get less than one, so it's 0.94735% and it's a percent because we're doing uh, a division of the same units here so these both cancel out and it becomes a ratio so it's a percent and we've got uh, 95 millimeters multiplied by that percent equals 90 millimeters so uh, or 3.54 inches so the fan pulley diameter this spinner here that needs to be ha having a diameter of 90 millimeters in order to achieve the design that we need now another way to calculate this, if we were uh, to have slowed the fan, the, the motor down, or we've changed the flow rate that we need um, servicing the floor, say uh, half the floor is cleared out and we want to make some energy savings or, or change the design data, then we can use this formula here. So the new uh, fan pulley diameter is equal to the old fan diameter, uh, pulley diameter multiplied by the old air flow rate divided by the new airflow rate. So for this, I've just put in a 10% reduction from the, the original, from the design data. And uh, if we punch those numbers in, and we can use that for the Imperial side as well, 
Um, doing the division obviously cancel that out and makes that a percentage for a ratio. So it's 1.11%. Uh, Multiply that by the original uh, fan pulley diameter, and that gives us uh, and lets us know that the new diameter needs to be 100 millimeters or 3.93 inches. So the next thing we can calculate is the motor pulley diameter. Now there could be uh, various reasons why this has changed. Say there's a new motor being replaced, etc., etc., a new fan has come in. So you want to know what diameter that pulley needs to be to achieve the correct air flow rate. And for that, we'll use this formula here. So the motor pulley diameter is equal to the fan pulley diameter multiplied by the fan revolutions per minute divided by the motor revolutions per minute. Again, you can get these, this information from the manufacturer or from the design if it's already installed. So if we just drop the numbers in, so we're, uh, on the fan, we're going to have a 90 millimeter diameter pulley at, or 3.54 inches. And we'll do the division between the two RPMs, cancelling out the RPMs, um, leaving us with 1.056%. Multiply that by the fan pulley diameter, uh, and that gives us what the uh, motor pulley diameter needs to be, which is 95 millimeters or 3.74 inches. Another way to do this, if we know uh, there has been a change in the flow rate, and we need to know what the change in diameter for the pulley will be on the motor, then we can use this formula here, which is the new pulley diameter is equal to the old uh, motor pulley diameter multiplied by the new airflow rate divided by the uh, old airflow rate. Now we know what the old airflow rate is and the diameter of the pulley. Um, this, the new airflow rate, you can calculate that and we will shortly in the video, or you can take it from the new manufacturer, etc. But if we drop these numbers in, then obviously um, these will cancel out on both sides. So that will give us a percent again. And we can see that the original pulley diameter multiplied by that percent is equal now to 85 millimeters or 3.73 inches. And that's the new uh, motor pulley diameter. So then we can look at what the fan RPM needs to be in order to achieve our design criteria. And for that, we'll use this formula here, which is the fan RPM is equal to the motor RPM multiplied. And we already know these figures here. We should have uh, calculated them or taken them from the manufacturer of any new equipment or from the design data. And so if we drop the numbers in, then obviously we'll get down to a ratio again if we do the division of the di pulley diameters. And then we can multiply um, these together, and that will bring us to... Uh, 3020 RPM uh, on both metric and imperial, obviously it's the same units there, and that is the speed that the fan needs to rotate at to achieve the design flow rate. Now we can also calculate the motor RPM, and we do that using this formula here, so the motor revolutions per minute equals the fan pulley diameter multiplied by the fan revolutions per minute divided by the motor pulley diameter. And so we can drop those numbers there in, and um, this will then come out at 2861 RPM on both sides, imperial and metric. Again, you can just uh, calculate these or look them up from the manufacturers. Now, if you have made any changes to the fans or the motors, etc., then we want to know what the adjusted air flow rate will be and will it satisfy the design criteria or are we making a reduction uh, in order to reduce the air flow rate to make some energy savings. And if that's the case, then we can use this formula here. So the the new air flow rate is equal to the old air flow rate multiplied by the division of the fan RPM, the new divided by the fan RPM of the old. So we can uh, then stick these figures here in. So we know what the, the old flow rate was and uh, what the adjusted um, RPM is going to be in the original RPM. So we'll stick these all in and this will bring us down obviously down to another ratio and we can multiply that out and that'll bring us to 1.638 meters cube per second. There should be a cube there, or uh, 3,470 cubic feet per minute. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and it's helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and also check out our website, theengineeringmindset.com. Once again, thank you very much for watching.